Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's edition of the Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm Hayes Brubaker. And I'm Jessica Lee. On today's show, you'll be joining us in our conversation about this week's biggest headlines and the news. So we're going to start off talking about North Korea. What's yeah. going on with that? So, all right. To, we are going to be starting off with some serious news. <laughs> Unfortunately, starting off on a serious note. But the U.S. Defense Secretary, Lloyd Austin, said on Wednesday that there is evidence that North Korea has sent troops to Russia, saying this is a very serious issue. <sighs> Additionally, South Korea's spy chief told lawmakers that roughly 3,000 North Korean soldiers are speculated to be in Russia right now undergoing some training. You know, it feels like we're going one... We're one country away from <laughs> being in World War III at this point. I know. And um, they're doing this because of the Russia-Ukraine war, right? Yes, and they Russia, are. People are saying that they're losing. Yes, that is what, what people think? are talking about. That's probably one of the reasons why they're getting support now from North Korea. This isn't the first time that they've had or been like quote-unquote allies before. So. And the world is just divided. I know, it's so divided right now. We're supporting, we're getting, Ukraine is getting support from us, mm -hmm. the U.S., right? Yes. And they're also making advances um, territorially. Yes, they are. So it's like, we don't know. It's, it's, gonna go. it's, a, it's a bad situation, but we will be sure to keep everybody updated if there are any developments. Mm -hmm. On the other side of things, the recreational drug pink cocaine mm -hmm. is getting a lot of attention this week because of Liam Payne's death. Yes, it is. Um, according to officials, his autopsy revealed that there was pink cocaine in his system. Mm -hmm. And somewhat ironically, Pink cocaine doesn't usually contain that much actual cocaine, yep. if any, sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, it is still very dangerous, or not still, it is very dangerous because it includes lots of different kinds of drugs, such as a combination of ecstasy, ketamine, opioids, and even more compl complicated drug names that I do not feel like pronouncing. It's very complicated, yes. but um, cocaine's like a big party drug, mm -hmm. and um, this pink cocaine is really dangerous because people take it thinking that it's going to be like cocaine. Mm -hmm. But according to experts, they will make your stomach hurt if you drink and take pink cocaine. And so it is also pink too. It is actually it pink. It is pink. Yeah. yeah. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Moving, switching gears a little bit, we have kind of a silly story, but not so silly. Um, a 41-year-old woman from China pleaded guilty on Friday for trying to smuggle a bunch of turtles across the U.S.-Canada <laughs> border via an inflatable kayak. You think that she's on pink cocaine? Yeah, maybe. I think she could be. <laughs> mm -mm. But, yeah, apparently those turtles are very valuable. Yeah. How much are they worth? I think they said estimated like $1,000 each. $1,000 each turtle. And she said she was smuggling, what, like 29 of them? So that's a fair bit of money mm -hmm. that she was trying to smuggle across the border. Yeah. But, yes, she pleaded not guilty to... The or she pleaded guilty to the charges on Friday, so... Yes, but she is scheduled to be sentenced in mm -hmm. December, yes. and she's facing up to 10 years in prison. That's quite serious. For turtles. For turtles. But Yikes. anyways, on the other side of the world, in the mm -hmm. Philippines, there's something going on. We have our special guest, King Kyle. Yep, and he He's is right here. his first <laughs> debut. So oh. tell us about it. Yeah, what's yeah, going so on? Yeah, so over in the Philippines, at least nine people, now 24, mm -hmm. after checking this morning, are dead from a tropical storm, uh, Trami, which has caused widespread flooding and landslides around the country. Officials have said that uh, they have been, <laughs> that they have been working to shut down schools mm -hmm. and uh, most of their offices. Uh, and while people are stuck on their roofs, waiting for it to, to be rescued from the Coast Guard. How Dang. long are they being stuck on their roofs? Uh, while reports haven't officially said, it, it could be hours, days. Imagine mm -hmm. that. Yeah, but the, the scenes there are horrific. Like the flooding and all the like landslides have been really awful there. Yeah, I've, so I've seen some of the pictures. If we go back to the other camera, we can see like how bad the flooding is. Like this is outside of this guy's house. It's, it's pretty, pretty rough. But is there anything else you have to say about this, Kyle? Well, the president uh, has made this his top priority. He has canceled all of his other priorities mm -hmm. and has focused on, uh, focused all his energy and time into the management of this crisis over in the Philippines. Okay. The storm, yeah. Our president or no, the Philippine president? Oh, okay. Yeah. The yeah. 
Um, and now the storm should be over in the South China Sea. I'm not sure where, where it'll, it'll go from there, but as for now, the Philippines are going to have to recover from that. A lot of storms lately. A lot of storms. Thanks, Kyle. Of course. Yep, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on to... Our space story. Our space story. As per usual, we have yet yep. another space story to wrap up this show. Um, the third supermoon of four that are scheduled for this year took place last week, and it was at the same time as a comet was visible Whoa. in the southern hemisphere. So that is quite fun. Um, uh -huh. We got some cool pictures that I found. This one is of the full moon, of the supermoon rather, in Germany, it said. And it's like the, the smoke is like a smokestack from one of their power plants. Yeah, but if you don't know what a supermoon is, oh, yes. it is a full moon that's closest, like it reaches your what a line of sight when mm -hmm. it's closest to the Earth. Yes. And there are some fun facts about that, like apparently it affects fertility, more increased birth rates, what? Yep. I didn't know any of these fun facts. You did not yeah. prep me for these. Whoa, yeah. that is interesting. Uh -huh. And also, the comet was visible, and we have a fun picture. You can see oh, it. Beautiful. Somebody caught it on picture, or on uh, film, I guess. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> on camera, not film. <laughs> Nobody uses film anymore other than me. All right. OK. <laughs> also, before we wrap it up, if you missed the supermoon last week, don't worry, because there's another one coming up on November 15th which is pretty soon. Are we so going to see it here? Yeah, you'll see oh, it everywhere. Oh, great. See it everywhere. And it'll be quite a big one, I've heard. Don't, yep. OK, well, that's all <laughs> we have for today. Um, make sure you check out Inside Swoop on Facebook and Instagram yep. to find more details about the stories that we covered from our amazing team members. And thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Weekly Wrap Up. I'm Hayes Brubaker. And I'm Jessica Lee. And we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.